Yeah. In the place to be, man. Y'all go ahead, hit the like button, man. Go ahead, and subscribe if you haven't already, man. We better go ahead, and get into it. We got one of the um, one of the victims of the takeoff shooting, and we're gonna go ahead and hear her take from the situation, what she went through, how she um, you know, why she's coming out right now and giving her statements. Uh, if y'all haven't already, man, go ahead and hit the uh, like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, if you have been watching my channel, man, go ahead and subscribe. Quit playing. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm Grace White. Many people don't realize the night rapper Takeoff was shot and killed in Houston. There were other people injured. One of them is 24 year old Sydney Lede. She was shot in the head in the early morning hours of November 1st, spent a week in the hospital and says it's a miracle she survived. Lede is born and raised in Houston and says she's been leaning on her family for support. It's a story we've been working on for months and waiting until she was ready to tell her story. In her first interview, she talks with us about what it was like being there that night and the wounds she's still recovering from physically and emotionally. Do you remember the moment you first woke up in the hospital? Everybody was around me. Well, when I first woke up, like I said, I didn't want to be there. I kept telling my mom I want to go home. Um, I had never been in a hospital like that. But I, knew, I remembered what happened because when I got, I was up the whole time um, after I got shot in the head and I called my mom and told her what happened and to come. Because um, I'm finna have a daughter. So I ain't, I ain't looking at this situation like, oh, you know, like I understand she was in the wrong place, wrong time for sure. Like I understand that. There's, I definitely feel like nobody takes it out of out of that understanding but it's like i wouldn't want my daughter trying to be at no private party trying to be around celebrities for any any reason in her life like it don't sound like it's worth that because just because you hanging out doesn't stop anything from happening to you and i mean she thought that and that's what kind of happened from the situation so you know all the all the females who be going to all these clubs and stuff where they where the clubs be getting shot up Folks not gonna be feeling sorry for y'all forever, cause y'all should have known by all the fact the fact that everybody kind of around the situations and far few in between have been getting hit up. That yes, yeah, cool to have fun every so often, but you can't have it, you know, too often, cause that can lead to your demise. You called your mom after you were shot. Yeah, and I, uh, yeah, I told her to come to the hospital, but. I ended up having a seizure, so I was on the phone with her the whole time. And uh, so you knew exactly what had happened and and why you were in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, everybody was around me, my mom, my my aunts, my grandma. I know you said you knew why you were in the hospital, but did you understand the extent of of your injuries and and what you had survived? Yes, I did. Um, I was up for the whole thing. I felt the sting in the back of my head. I felt myself falling. And the person I was with picked me up and we got in the car. But it was just, it was like a real, like a scary movie, really. Man, that's crazy. You definitely wouldn't expect that when you're just leaving your house, just trying to have a good time going, you know what I'm saying, going out somewhere. But that's why you always got to be paying attention. And if... I mean, you can't necessarily return fire if you get hit in the head, like depending on what's going on. So it's like, it's certain situations you can't necessarily plan for, and you know, sometimes things happen when you can't, when you when you didn't plan for anything, but you, you know, you're around the stuff when it happens. <laughs> to ironically, it was Halloween night. I had I had on a um, nun outfit. I had blood all over me. And you had dressed up for for Halloween. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was still my birthday weekend, so. You had just turned 24. Yeah. So, I mean, like any other 24-year-old, I was just out partying and celebrating because I really never dressed up for Halloween, and that was something I was excited about. Did you know the people there that night? Did you know Takeoff was, was there? Yeah, I saw everybody. That I'm used. Um, I'm used to being around celebrities, so it wasn't because I used to live in Los Angeles. So I'm never. I mean, it wasn't like a big deal. 
it was just more so like, a, you know, just a regular party. And had you been there the whole night or, or what time did you get to the, um, the bowling alley? It was after hours, so I got there around maybe 12 or maybe 1 o'clock because we, we had been to a few places. Like I said, it was we were celebrating my birthday still, and it was Halloween. And I told the person I was with I wanted to, you know, hang out tonight because I <laughs> have my costume. I looked cute. So, um, yeah, so we got there at like 12 a.m., and everybody was just hanging out. We had a few drinks. At any point, do you remember being scared before all that happened, or was it, in your opinion, a normal night? Um, yeah, it was pretty normal in my opinion. Um, yeah, I didn't get scared. It wasn't any arguments or anything until the event was actually over. And um, yeah, that's when I knew something was wrong after the fact, because I thought these people that uh, were arguing uh, was just playing from, like I said, the energy that was in the room before everybody was around the table playing a game with a dice. So I thought it was just like, you know, some friend, like friendly banter. But that argument or that. Well, hold on, I, that's why I feel like it might be something up the up the DA's sleeve if they've not already tried to look for who who uh who popped her too, because essentially like it was two people popped. She was one of them, and it was another. It was I think it was another dude who got popped, and um, hers was almost you know fatal. His wasn't. I don't think it was necessarily fatal. Takeoff was, so it was two victims, uh, three victims total. One fatal, two, another one potential fatal, the other one dude's in stable condition. Man, that's crazy. I feel like the DA got some stuff to be looking after versus just looking after the takeoffs, you know, who 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 shot the shooter of takeoff. Like, whoever shot takeoff, they're looking for – they're just trying to nail him up and not find out who also shot these people in the cross, which is kind of janky in my opinion. Like, you got to look at the whole crime. Y'all going gonna to try to solve crimes out here arguing was kind of your first sign that something something was going on yeah because um Quavo he was upset so he and he I noticed that something was wrong whenever I noticed that he was really upset and he wanted he was finna leave so we the and we saw the video with him saying he was try, pretty much trying to go because they was arguing he said you know what I'm saying I gotta go before I, before I'm finna hurt somebody and he, you know and after that it just started going up so we know that video she's talking about. Party wasn't finna keep going on. And I saw whenever everything broke out and I tried to run, but I didn't go that far. So yeah, it was like it was really like a movie. Like And her shoes kinda makes it look like dang. You know, oh dang. That's why I feel like they need to go ahead and try to do something because She's saying all this on, on for this news clip, you know, I understand she's saying it to get her word out, but, you know, I'm pretty sure there's some justice be either being pressed behind her or, she, or if she's not, she's just, she, this is kind of goofy in my opinion, somewhat to some reason, because you have to be willing to at least, you know, try to get something, try to figure out something. I had a panic attack as soon as I got home. Do you replay that night in your head and what happened? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a panic attack. And I just remember I didn't really have an appetite. All I really ate was like fruit and just different stuff. I was nauseated throwing up all the time. Like, yeah, that was just, I feel like that part was Okay. Um, the one question I got is, okay, they said there was no witnesses on the scene whenever they pretty much questioned everybody, and they are they questioned like 30, 40 people. They said they questioned 30, 40 people, not one person said a thing, not a lick of, not a lick of English. You know what I'm saying? Now we got her coming out, and she's pretty much giving her testimony, and I'm pretty sure she's saying she knows more than what she's saying. Is she going to be the witness who tells more information and kind of gets people to start having to confess or starts, 
get being able to kind of unra- help them unravel this. I don't know, but I definitely feel like that could be could be part of it because like like they said nobody said nothing. She first one saying something, so this is just crazy. Y'all definitely let me know y'all feel about the situation, man. This is TP in the place to be, man. Y'all go ahead hit the like button, man. Go ahead and subscribe, and I'm gonna get at y'all on the next one, man. Y'all stay out the way.